So some guy just calls in and says that he wants to, to audition for uh, Flight 10. I had to tell him, no, dude, this is for women. What's his name? What was his name? Some, I don't know. Some weird guy. I was don't it know. Billy Sunshine? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? If he is willing to uh, keep it down to a minimum and he wears... Uh, are you serious? Was that really Billy Sunshine? Yeah, it was. Oh, wow. Hey, okay, check, well, out. No, check, no, Dave, Billy, hey, check out this this tombstone. Now, here's an idea. This guy has his tombstone set up so that his family members can come, go and play Scrabble. <laughs> That's wow. a good idea, right? Yeah, I'm looking at a photograph. Of That's pretty cool. It looks like a headstone of a little Scrabble game. Yeah, That's look, look. I'm, I'm going to point it so that you can see yeah, it on the camera. Here we go. Here we go. Let's, um, go. let's see. The Butt Brothers were buried together. Hold on a second. Let me get that on. Camera. Hey, look at that one. You can show that one on on the. Now I can't say what that's. I can't read what that says, but I can show you what it says. Oh yeah, yeah. We're seeing that now. That's a good shot there, Dave. That's Perfect. a good one, huh? That is a good one. Yeah, we're. Sh there are some interesting tombstones out well, now, there. Now you in see. The now you States. see why I don't want to be burned up. I mean, how well, am, why? How Just so you can leave a tainted corpse behind in a nifty a tombstone? It's a rather greedy, selfish uh, thing. Uh, let's see, John. Free your body. Unfold your... Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that. F-U... Someone has uh, the... Uh, it's an first, acronym. Yes. Free your body. Unfold your something. Climb, kick, you, or unless. Spell that out. I, I, it's, a, it's a dirty word. Dude. Hey, you know... Um, Four seven nine ten eight. We have a call. Oh, we have a call going. And you know what's interesting about tombstones? Actually, in other locations like uh, Japan and China, is you know in America we have something called a, a QR code, and you can scan that. You know, with your uh, cell phone, and it'll tell you like a website or a price of something. You've probably seen them on the sides of products. I have. They're a little square QR code. Now, uh, but in uh -huh. Japan, they have huge tombstones that are made like QR codes. Oh. And you can uh, take a photograph of the tombstone. And then it, uh, what it does there is it like tell, it brings up a whole biography of the person's life. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't really do that here. We like to put, we don't like to go Jack Lemon style. Keep it short. Jack Lemon. Jack Lemon in. You still don't get that one, huh? No, I don't get it. What, the, what does that mean? He's an actor, so you know as, I as get an actor, that. You go, Jack Lemon in whatever movie, like Jack Lemon in this movie, in that. So he just on his tombstone is Jack Lemon in. See, but he's in the grave. You don't like that. <laughs> well, I, I think it's too literal to be a joke. Okay, maybe it is. All right, I don't wait. I'm just telling you that's a fact. He does have it on his tombstone. And I think Walter Matthau has mm, something cheeky also, but not necessarily as dark. But, yeah, I like a lot of those uh, Hollywood tombstones. There's a, a cemetery there in the middle of L.A., Hollywood area, called uh, Hollywood Forever, which a lot of celebrities are, are buried in, Dave, and it's a very expensive uh, place to get in. Not, not easy. Maybe we should bury you there. Me? Would you like to be buried in a fancy place Why, like what that? did I do? Though I'm not even dead yet, Billy. No, but I'm just saying. Did you wait they have for me a to die cool first? Well, you're uh, so into the tombstone thing. What would you want to have as a cool tombstone, Dave? Have you thought about this? Like in, yes, I've thought about it a lot, Billy. You have. But don't, don't think I'm a dirty man for saying this, okay? Okay, I won't. The audience might, though. I would have on my tombstone... I can see up your skirt, and I know that's ter I know that's and childish, and, and that's. I don't know if they would allow that. Why not? You're dead. What are they gonna do? Stop you? Well, no. Like it would depend on where you're. See, Punish you. Have, you you got to get into a fancy cemetery like Hollywood Forever, where they'd allow that. They could allow that out in Pajaro Valley. Uh, you know, Susan Simon yeah, agrees. They wouldn't allow that. Cemetery? Bad taste. Yeah, it is bad taste. See, and now you made they me say They wouldn't allow it. that oh, yeah. unless you're a celebrity, Dave. A big celebrity. Four seven nine ten eighty. Billy is misquoting me. He's, he's misreading oh, the shapes I did? of oh, my I'm head. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what did I miss? Would they allow I, that? I don't see why they wouldn't allow it. It's is it funny it, or is it written on something on the ground? Is it funny or is it dirty, or both? Huh? I don't I, know. It I'd seems say to me I've been seeing it's things. It's moderate about. and. It, How about if I say I can see I your nose hairs? How's that? Yeah, I don't. I don't see that either <laughs> one of them is a problem. Right. I mean, yeah, the, the thing is on the, the ground, case. if people well, no, are no, no. standing I, over you, you are The way that it. I feel about it is, the, case, I, is I, the way that I feel about it is yeah, I would hope, it. I would hope that's not a problem, but I would fear that in today's culture that they would have rules about, like, you can't put this on it, you can't, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm assuming but that. it's talking so from underneath How about the ground. How about nice hair, dude? How about that? That's true. Susan's correct. I, I, like Susan the bottom of your shoes, you know? <laughs> all right, fine. Susan is correct. All I'm right, wrong good. on this one. So get off my case. But what would you like to have? Thank you, Susan. In all seriousness. How about you, you Susan? What would you one? What would you like to have on your? First of all, do you care whether you're buried or, or oh, burned? Oh, absolutely. Which would do you prefer? Bury me. Me too. Bury yeah, me. Those are weird long. Americans. I don't like. Weird I don't Americans. like. I don't like hot weather as it is. So the whole, you know, burning me at thousands of of bazillions of degrees. I don't is think you're right going to feel that. 
Uh, it doesn't matter. Bro. I think you need to know a very important poem in my life, okay. which was called I'd The like Cremation to... of Sam McGee. Oh, Ooh, do you know? Can like you recite it? Is it long? It's it is long, and I'd be happy to recite it. It sounds like it's going to be a good one, like Limerick. It it's uh, I mean, I can do the and, start and, of and it, the, but I have to get the rest. The of it. poem is called what again, Susan? The Cremation of Sam McGee. The Cremation of Sam McGee. Well, uh, you go ahead and look for that. It and probably I'll, turns out something like he was listen, alive. Listen, this is the reason why I I want to be buried, fire, Billy. Yes, my on. whole life I haven't owned anything, haven't owned property, okay. right? And and if I have you a chance will. to sit, yeah, I know. And and if it happens to be when I die, then there. I well, you know, it's interesting. It reminds me of a movie that came out yeah. about 10 years. Oh, here we go, Susan. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah. We're yeah. Ready. Are you yeah. sure? We're, we're ready. excited about it. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake LaBarge. I cremated Sam McGee. Now, Sam McGee was from Tennessee, where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he left his home in the south to roam around the pole, God only knows. It was always cold, but the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell, though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. On a Christmas day, we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your cold through the parka's fold, it stabbed like a driven nail. If our eyes we'd closed, then the lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see. It wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. And that very night as we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, and the dogs were fed and the stars overhead were dancing heel and toe, he turned to me in cap, says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. Well, he seemed so low that I couldn't say no, then he says with a sort of moan, it's the cursed cold and it's got right hold till I'm chilled clean through to the bone. Yet taint being dead, it's my awful dread of the icy grave that pains. So I want you to swear that foul or fair, you'll cremate my last remains. Well, a pal's last need is a thing to heed, so I swore I would not fail. And we started on at the streak of dawn, but God, he looked ghastly pale. He crouched on the sleigh and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death and I hurried horror driven with a corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid because of a promise given. It was, last, it was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say you may tax your brawn and brains, but you promised true, and it's up to you to cremate those last remains. Now, a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart how I cursed that load. In the long, long night by the lone firelight, while the huskies round in a ring, howled out their woes to the homeless snows. Oh, God, how I loathe that thing. And every day that quiet clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. And on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad and I felt half mad, but I swore I would not give in. And I'd often sing to the hateful thing and it hearkened with a grin. Till I came to the marge of Lake LaBarge and a derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice, but I saw in a trice it was called the Alice May. And I looked at it and I thought a bit and I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. Some planks I tore from the cabin floor and I lit the boiler fire. Some coal I found that was lying around and I heaped the fuel higher. The flames just soared and the furnace roared, such a blaze you seldom see. And I burrowed a hole in the glowing coal and I stuffed in Sam McGee. Then I made a hike for I didn't like to hear him sizzle so and the heavens scowled and the huskies howled and the wind began to blow. It was icy cold but the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks and I don't know why. And the greasy smoke in an inky cloak went streaking down the sky. I don't know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear, but the stars came out and they danced about ere again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peep inside. I guess he's cooked, and it's time I looked. Then the door I opened wide. And there sat Sam, looking cool and calm in the heart of the furnace roar. And he wore a smile you could see a mile, and he said, please close that door. It's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree down in Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warm. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trail have the, uh, trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake LaBarge. I cremated Sam McGee. Nice. Wow. Who wrote that? Nice. I like that. I just have one Robert, question. Robert Service. How do you fit that all on his tombstone? 
You don't, but it's the part <laughs> about them teasing. opening the don't thing. No, that was awesome. Really. No, that was really cool. It reminded me now, is that, uh, it's very limericky. Is uh, That's Robert Service. It's is his. that Scottish or Irish? Uh, Writer? He was Canadian, I believe. He was Canadian. Scotch background, I believe. A Scotch background. Okay, that makes, yeah, that was really cool. No, I dug that story. That was awesome. So he does lots of other story poems, but this one got me. I learned it when I was a little kid. I first heard it when I was a little kid. And you memorized it. Did, did you memorize it as a kid? Yeah. Wow. 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 That reminds me of my I don't, friend Andre. I don't, I don't still things. remember all of it, but I remember large chunks. But it's the whole idea of if if he could open it up while while Sam McGee was crisping up, and <laughs> Sam McGee is just, yeah, well, could you close that door, please, because it's, you know, cold out there. Um, I don't want to guarantee I can't wake up in the middle of that fire, and that fire is way too hot for me. Well, she has a Put point me there. Put in she the has ground, plant something over the top, and let it grow. Well, what if, like, you die, and then they just maybe set you out for, like, a month or two before they bury you to make sure? Then you in wouldn't the have ground. to be buried. In the ground. But <laughs> in, a, in, a, in the ground thing, I just, a, I don't know about it. In the ground, but in a shroud. But you no, want to be eaten no by box, dogs? No I just think that it's totally irrelevant. When I die, I am not going to care at all. All because I'm not going to be connected to this are you uh, sure? plane. Yeah, are you I'm sure? I'm hundred percent positive. Why? All right. Yeah. Because I'm with Dave. God tells me so. Okay. Susan Simon. Um uh, how about this? God <laughs> never told me that, so I, I have my doubts about how things go. <laughs> it the, just doesn't seem logical. In the so called afterlife. Two one eight five seven two six on the tombstone of Mel Blank. Uh that's all folks. Yeah. Merv Griffin, I will not be right back after this message. <laughs> I like that. That's, like on, that's, that's on his good tombstone. That's a good one, yeah. yeah, Billy, that that's your one chance, dude. Your one last chance Maybe to make the world you. laugh. Maybe for, for you. For you too. Nah, no, no. You'd speak for yourself, buddy. Wait, how, so you're gonna come back from the dead and crack I'm jokes? I'm saying the concept. You're gonna no, do the no, first I'm not saying that. First I'm just dead saying stand up the comedian. idea that that one would care about where your body after you go i just think it's ridiculous i just think it's absurd and i'm a christian fellow okay you okay. want to hear another one by robert service that has nothing to do with cremation we got okay. 45 seconds not a chance <laughs> <laughs> all right well we got to head to a break uh, this one's at least two minutes uh, yeah we got to head to a break we only have uh 50 seconds kseo santa cruz uh dm